being Christian is not only a doctrine or a moral ideal, it is a living relationship with the risen Lord. In the Gospel, Jesus shows his apostles the wounds in his body and says, See my hands and my feet, the wounds, that it is I myself, handle me. And to convince them, he asks for food and eats it before them. And the reaction of the apostles was joy and amazement. Dear friends, today I would like to reflect on three verbs or actions which Pope Francis speaks about based on today's gospel. They are to look, to touch, and to eat. Through these actions, we can experience joy from the true encounter with our risen Lord. First, to look. Jesus says, see my hands and my feet. To look does not only mean to see. It is more than that. It involves my intention and will. For example, parents look at their children, lovers gaze at each other, a good doctor looks at the patient carefully, so on. Looking is the first step against the indifference, against the temptation to look the other way in the face of the difficulties and sufferings of others. Let us ask ourselves a question. Do I look at the sufferings and difficulties of others and help them, or am I indifferent towards them? Second, to touch. St. Luke wants to affirm that the risen Christ is not a ghost or a pure spirit. There is still a physicality about him. And now by inviting his disciples to touch him, to verify that he is not a ghost, Jesus says to them, touch me. Here Jesus is saying to his disciples and to us as his followers, don't remain at a distance. Come close to me. Touch me. Yes, dear friends, our relationship with him cannot remain distant. Christianity does not exist at a distance. The true discipleship does not exist at the level of looking only, but it also requires closeness. It requires contact, the sharing of life. As a disciple of Jesus, do I look at him from far or do I come close to him? And third, to eat. It expresses the natural requirement for our body to nourish ourselves in order to live. We eat together with our family or friends. Thus, it becomes an expression of love, an expression of communion, of celebration. Jesus, before his passion and death, shared a meal with his disciples. Even as the risen Lord, he shares meal with his disciples. And now, sharing meal is the Eucharist banquet. It has become the symbolic sign of our Christian community. Eating together the body of Christ is the core of Christian life. By eating his body, we are transformed and become like Christ. As Pope Francis says, being Christian is not only a doctrine or a moral ideal, it is a living relationship with the risen Lord. We look at him, we touch him, and we are nourished by him. And being transformed by his love, we look at, we touch and nourish others and as our brothers and sisters around us. Amen. <music>